Hey everybody, Bat Merrick here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ghost Rider number three. Um, this is the uh, new Ghost Rider right here. It's actually Legacy uh, Edition number uh, 239. Um, but yeah, it's number three in the current uh, the current uh, storyline. Um, if you don't know, basically what's going on is uh, Johnny Blaze is now Satan, basically. And um, Mephistopheles is in prison somewhere with uh, Doctor Strange. And uh, Johnny is going around, and he's um, trying to send the uh, demons that escaped hell back to their said prisons in certain spots of hell. And um, he was trying to get his brother Danny Catch, the other Ghost Rider, that has the spirit of vengeance, to help him. Like that way, they could go, you know, fight these these uh, these demons and capture them, you know, together. Which would be pretty cool. I'd like to see a story where you know they're going out together, capturing the demons. Hopefully, they'll do some of that. Maybe they can get like a ghost tank or something like that on wheels. That would be so tight. You know, they, they, there's a lot of stuff you could do with that, like visually, you know. One could be driving it. The other one could be shooting fireballs out of the roof or something. And, you know, the, the, the conveyor tractor threads on the bottom could be all fired up. And that's just one thing they could do, you know. They could they could do a lot. I mean, two ghost riders, this, the possibilities are, you know, limitless. But, yeah, let's get right in here. Um... This one kind of starts off with the uh, the North American Great Plains, uh, 1654. That's like a long time ago, and you have a Native American Ghost Rider, which is pretty cool. For me, I mean, it might be small for some people, but for me, I'd like this this and the cover right here was just like the price of admission. I like seeing Ghost Riders from different periods. It's always fun. And there's this new um, this new like character right here. Um, he's a uh, it looks like he's like a Ghost Rider Slayer, <laughs> and he's hunting this guy down. And he looks like he's kind of like a, like a centaur or something like that. He doesn't have a, a face, just like a mask covering it. Uh, and he's got four arms. So, you know, he looks pretty cool. You know, I, the thing is, <clears throat> I've noticed in comic books nowadays, a lot of these, there's a lot of characters that have like faces or, or robots, you know, they're just void of anything. Like, I don't know, I'm just kind of over it. I'm start, I, I don't like seeing creations with just blank this like nothing that's just void or they'll have like a dot or it'll just be like a cross or just i don't know i'm just kind of over that i don't know it just kind of to me it just seems kind of boring i like it when there's a little more design into the face because that's what you stare at that's how we emote that's how we look when we're looking at characters and people and stuff like that so i don't know it looks cool though. i understand maybe they're going with like you know he's just i understand he's probably emotionless so there's, you know there's void of emotion i get it but you know i just see it a lot so yeah he's hunting him down and Cuts him up with his um, Ghost Rider slaying sword. Takes him out, you know. I guess his name is Necrosis. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully he takes his uh he takes his mask off and we see what he looks like under there. You know, there might be like a cool reveal. But yeah, he took him out and you know he just he leaves him there. He says something like, "I would ask you to deliver a message to my to my fest Mephisto from Belasco." But I suspect that it's not a task you're going to be able to carry out. However, should you see the Dark Lord, tell him to keep his demon damned spirit of vengeance out of limbo. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And then we jump to uh, modern times. I think it's like the Brooklyn Bridge where the last issue, you know, spoilers. Uh, Johnny Blaze dropped his brother off. <clears throat> the bridge and took took the spirit of vengeance away from him and now a uh, caretaker is i don't know if it's caretaker's daughter or his niece or something like that she's a new caretaker and she's you know she's watching out for him and stuff which is pretty cool and then uh we still have johnny right here he's um trying to find the uh, portal like where the um the demons escaped you know yep, and then you get a little splash page right there that's one of my one of the coolest pages in the book it's pretty awesome we got a new uh artist drawing in this one right here it's not cooter he's probably taking a taking a month off or taking a it's one uh for gary i think his name is for for Gergi. yeah art, artists can't do a book like non-stop like this like every month it's really really hard you know so you gotta have you gotta break it down i know how most people you know i used to want to see the same artist doing every book i mean it's cool don't get me wrong but you gotta be realistic man people people gotta take breaks and it's hard to hit that monthly deadline especially when you're putting in a lot of stuff Unless you got like you know a couple issues banked up, I don't know how Gordon Murphy does his uh, White Knight for a Mar or for DC, but yeah. So this is a different artist. Looks pretty cool, you know. And um, yeah, 
basically, um, <clears throat> basically, um, caretakers trying to get, um, Danny Catch to, uh, trying to get Danny Catch to, um, get with her, get with his, get with his brother, you know, and, and to help him, uh, not be the, basically not be Satan anymore and try to save him from turning completely demonic, you know, and he just like, no, nah, I ain't about that, you know, he just dropped me off a, a bridge, you know, and took the, <clears throat> my spirit away from me, so, my spirit of vengeance, so I really don't have a need to do that, and I don't really want to be Ghost Rider anymore, you know, so, and, um, his, uh, ex-wife, or his ex-girlfriend is a, is a cop, and she, um, she, uh, is under the impression that Danny just murdered all these, or that, uh, Johnny Blaze just murdered all these people, like, in the last issue, uh, on the, uh, on the yacht out, <clears throat> out in the, uh, out in the bay, but the thing is, from my understanding, a lot, all those people were demon-possessed, so they were just people like changelings, basically, demons took their bodies, and, uh, uh, the people died, and the demons took their bodies so they could stay here, so, yeah, she, uh, she wants, she wants him to, 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 uh, basically put a stop to, um, to, uh, Johnny Blaze, and, you know, he's just like, <clears throat> I don't know, he, he just doesn't, doesn't really care, he feels that the spirit of vengeance is the reason that she left him and stuff like that, and she's like, no, you, you know, it wasn't the spirit of vengeance that caused me to break up with you, it was the fact that you would not tell me you were Ghost Rider, but, you know, I don't know, and then we got these right here, we got this faction of, uh, just, like, these, uh, female, uh, demon chicks, <laughs> that are gonna, like, basically overthrow, um, overthrow Johnny Blaze, I don't know why they just made them all, like, ladies, I don't know, I don't, you think there'd be, like, one guy in the group or something, it's just kind of weird, you know, I don't know, it seems kind of weird, but yeah, looks like they're gonna, uh, try to take over, uh, Johnny Blaze, I bet they're gonna try to take over Johnny Blaze, and they're, they're gonna need Mephisto to come back and put everything where it needs to be, and that's probably what's gonna happen, yep, we'll see what happens with that, and then, uh, we jump forward a little bit, and we got these, uh, Demons right here outside of Enoch, Utah. And they're just driving by and they're spitting fire on some poor innocent bystander. Just murdering him. See? These are like what I was talking about earlier. Some changelings. And sure enough, Johnny Blaze has got him. He's got him right there, choking him out. There's a cool little scene right here. This is this was probably my favorite part right here. Where um Johnny uh he he throws a chain at one of their uh, car wheels and yanks it. Whew, boom, and it smashes the demon right in half. And just basically dismembers him, cuts him in half. You know, and he's trying to find out, uh, he's trying to find out where um, Mephistopheles is prisoned at. It looks like he's going to Vegas. Yeah. So that's pretty much, pretty much it with this book. Um, I, I would say it's a pretty cool book. It it kind of it kind of fills in a lot of like um storyline from the last one. Um it uh I wish there was a little more action in it though. I ain't going to lie. There they could have had like one more action scene in it or something. I know that I know that there it, it could have been a hell of a lot worse and where they could have just been talking the whole issue. But you know what? I I mean I, I would I would like to see like at least one more uh actions action sequence in here. Um all in all it's a solid read. Um, I, I do recommend it, but um, I'm going to have to give it a one horn up out of two just because, um, again, I, I think they should have had at least one more action sequence. I don't mean a fight scene or anything like that, but maybe like a chase or something, something along those lines. But, uh, yeah, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe. We got daily content here on Metal Movies and Brewskis. Have a great night, folks.